and welcome to MJ School of Mining and Geology private tutoring YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and ring the bell for more videos like this. In today's lesson we are going to learn more about Otto Harkin's rule. The Otto Harkin's effect states that chemical elements with even atomic numbers are more abundant than the adjacent odd atomic number elements. For example, oxygen atomic number 8 is more abundant than either nitrogen, atomic number 7 or fluorine atomic number 9. Calcium 20 is more abundant than potassium 19 or scandium 21. Atoms form when protons and neutrons bind together and form an atomic nucleus. For most elements, this happens when the immense temperature, pressure, and gravity within a star fuses protons and neutrons together. An element's atomic number is the number of protons in its atom. One explanation for the higher abundance of even-numbered elements is that helium atomic. Number 2 is a major building block for element formation. Fusion of helium nuclei builds subsequent even-atomic number elements. Another explanation is that even atomic numbers mean protons are paired within the nucleus. Parity makes the nucleons more stable, as the spin of one proton offsets the spin of the other. Unpaired protons' odd number elements more easily capture another proton and form an even-numbered atom. Elements that serve as two exceptions to the Otto Harkin's rule are hydrogen atomic number 1 and beryllium atomic number 4. Hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe. It is more abundant than helium because of its creation in the Big Bang. However, stars continuously fuse hydrogen into helium. In the distant future, hydrogen will follow the even odd. Beryllium is even rarer than lithium, atomic number 3 and boron, atomic number 5 even though the primary source of all three elements is cosmic ray spallation. Scientists believe beryllium does not follow the rule because it only has one stable isotope. Lithium and boron each have two stable isotopes.